It's me. Oh, hi, you. Do you think we should go out again? Oh, I can't this week. I'm swamped. Not you. Me and Turk. Oh. I take that to mean he didn't floss his teeth at the table. Where are you? Oh, I'm at the high school. You know, ever since the tornado, Davis's grades have slipped a little bit, and so I called a meeting with the guidance counselor. Mrs. Sims? I wish you were more excited about my date. What do you want me to do, plan a bridal shower okay. just because you're having a second date? We're not teenagers standing in front of the mirror checking out outfits anymore. Right. I gotta go. I'm so glad you called, Mrs. Sims. Not a lot of parents do anymore. My office is this way. We're not really worried about Davis, but you know, ever since the tornado, his grades have really sort of slipped, and we just want him to get back on track, you know? Well, a lot of students have had difficulty with the aftermath of the tornado. Really? store that I came out with Richie. I would have been in the hall where Ben fired most of his shots, but I had to stay late in chem class. Good thing you're getting to see in chemistry. Man, he could have been killed. He really could have been killed. I can't believe this is filming. That left one student dead and three others injured. I was scared. At the moment, the scene is very chaotic here. This is too crazy. Um, are shaking. I wonder who died. Someone said it was Sally Nathan. Sally Nathan? Come on, we don't know that for sure. Oh, my God, Colin, is everyone okay? Davis, where's that meat? Uh, she's lying down in the bedroom. Uh, I'm sorry, Renee. I, I forgot to tell Mommy called. Oh, honey, that's all right. Davis, are you all right? Yeah. Thank God they weren't hurt. Both of them were talking to the police all afternoon. Is that me asleep? Trust me, she ain't sleeping. Go on in. Mm. I can't tell you guys how relieved I am that, that you're okay. The country is in shock, astounded and confused. We ask ourselves who is to blame for these sudden... What more do you need to the attackers themselves? And me? Yeah? I thought you had a date. I canceled. I needed to see you. Are you holding up? Okay. What happened? The name of the student who was killed is being... I saw her, Dad. At this time, all we know is that three students have been taken to Shepherd Medical. Two are listed in critical condition. The student responsible for the shooting, Ben Saunders, took his own life at the scene. Oh, my God. That was what happened. And I almost lost another son today because some teenager went crazy. Hey, should? Huh? That was Glenn from the newspaper. He saw you on TV. Said he wants to meet with you tomorrow. What? 
Yeah, I told him you weren't feeling well and called me in the morning. Oh, that's unbelievable. What do you think he wants? I know what he wants. Blood. Some kind of eyewitness action-packed headline crap, you know? Birmingham mom witnesses school killing. He started shooting. And all the kids started running and... And I started running and... and this little girl... She kind of pitched backward and... And fell down and... And there was blood everywhere. And every time I close my eyes, it just gets louder and brighter. I never want to see that again, Renee. I really don't ever want to see that. I don't want to see it again. Then turn it off, Mary Elizabeth. Well, uh, this is part of the problem, if you ask me. Big bad media. No offense. Like it or not, you're part of us. Not the frenzy, I'm not. I didn't ask you to write about the frenzy. You assume that all on your own. Well, I don't think you asked me in here to do an op-ed on gardening. I'm giving you free reign, Mary Elizabeth. If you want to write about the, the family of the kids, if you want to write about the shooter, if you want to write about violence in the media. No way do I want to write about the victims, and I certainly don't want to write about Ben Sonder. Why not? And say what? He was such a good boy. That's what they always say. He was such a good boy. Well, let me tell you something. Good boys don't murder their friends. Let me ask you something. In the last 24 hours, have you thought that Davis could have done this? I think we've raised our son to know the difference between right and wrong. I'll bet you a dollar. Every parent of every kid that's ever shot up a school thought the same thing. There's a profile on these kids. They're bullied. They come from single parents. Most of them get the guns from their own houses. If you want, write about that. Why would I want to write about stuff that everybody already knows? Then write something else. Look, Mary Elizabeth, I did not ask you to do this just because you were there. I'm asking you to do this because you're a wonderful writer. Now, if you have a problem doing this as a writer, then if nothing else, do it as a mother. My mother wants me to do it, Emmy. Even though she knows people are going to make funny. I beg your pardon, Mr. Nigelow. I guess I didn't see a stand. Hey, Lardass, I dare you to come back here and say that. It's not a Lardass, Spaz. His name's Larry, and he's a hard, tight, stocky, center forward guard or something. And he's also my friend. <laughs> Renee Jackson for freshman class representative? They're never gonna elect a colored student representative, especially not a black one. You don't think I know that, Teresa? And she's running anyway. She has courage. She's got dreams for brains is what she's got. Come on, let's go finish my homework, Wally. Hey, Sims. I thought you wanted to be on the baseball team. Yeah, I better go, guys. I'll be late for class. Friday's election is not a popularity contest. It's an opportunity for you to select the person who will best represent you to the faculty and other students. I know. I am the person for that job. You hate it. No, I really like it. And me? Yeah. I was just thinking how it seems like only yesterday we were stealing cigarettes from old man Tajusti's. Wow. Class of 72. It's hard to believe we're adults already. Excuse me. Would any of you senior citizens like some cookies and milk? Yeah. 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 Good. Because y'all had me worried there for a moment. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Mom. Hey. What do you say we get to school early, Mom? Put these posters up before anyone else gets there. If you didn't let those bullies bully you, you wouldn't have to worry about anybody being there. I think call your means we couldn't get it all done if we waited until school started. Well, call your means is he wants to sneak around so he doesn't get caught. What are you doing under my bed? Oh, cleaning. Are you going through my stuff? Yeah, a little. My socks? I, I, I'm not looking for boy things. You know, private things that a boy your age might have. What are you looking for? Oh, guns, knives, plastic explosives. Are you crazy? I certainly hope so. You don't have to worry about me. Ben Saunders was a geek, OK? He's always just trying to fit in and stuff. 
Did you ever see people teasing him? Maybe, I don't know. Did you ever tease him? Oh, so this is my fault. Look, I just, I know you've been teased and I know how much that hurts you. What are you doing tonight? Meeting some kids. What kids? Just some kids. Well, I want you staying home tonight. Kelly and Johnny are coming for dinner and I want us to all sit down and talk about all this. I am not breaking Dogs the law. are not allowed in the building. Pippin is a seeing eye dog. And what's the worst this little doggy can do anyway? Chew on marble. Ma'am, I don't believe you. Muriel? Renee? It's, it's, it's illegal to bring dogs into the building. Assuming that's a dog. <laughs> Pippin is a seeing eye dog. He can go anywhere. Renee, honey, tell this nice man that I'm blind. Miss Jackson, I'm sorry. Dogs are not allowed in the building, and she's not blind. Blind, blonde, the same thing, Sam. Listen, that's my neighbor, Mrs. Maples, and I personally guarantee you that I will take Pippin down in a freight elevator. Bye, Sam. <laughs> Muriel? Are we alone? Yes, we're alone. What are you doing here? <sighs> you know that vicious Fanny Carter across the street from us? The one who raises her blinds every time you bring a man into the house? Well, years ago, Muffet, you know Muffet, one of my rescues, beautiful little Brindle and Coco, purebred Australian mm -hmm. Czech. She made a teeny-weeny little midgy poo-poo in her yard. Anyway. Late this afternoon, I let that nice UPS man in for a lemonade, and about two hours later, I noticed that Muffy was gone. So, that nice UPS man and He was I... still there? Well, he likes my lemonade, what can I say? Anyway, we combed the neighborhood to no avail. And then, huh, that hateful Fanny stuck her head out the door and screeched that Muffy had evacuated all over her geranium bed, and that she called the pound and reported her as a stray. Well, they came, they picked her up, and they hauled her away. I mean, Renee, they took Muffy to jail. So did you go down to the pound and get her? Well, I tried. They were already closed. See, and then I remembered that you had this affair with a policeman not too long ago, and I thought maybe you could use your wiles and have him get her out. You know, I don't even remember the guy. I do. Always wore black. Drove a black car, wore black gloves, black shades. Dude was weird. Paper said he was always listening to this rap group, 8-Ball and MJG, but that's not why he really went off. He was just crazy, that's all. But that rap music doesn't help anything. It's all about bitches and hoes and killing and guns. Guns, hello? He got them from under his father's bed. Give me a break. But that kid short-circuited long before he picked up a gun. You had a gun, Dad. Yeah, and you never touched it because you knew better. May I be excused? You haven't had any dinner. I'm not hungry. Eat. You know, the school thought about putting metal detectors in a couple of years ago. Maybe now they will. Well, it's easy to slip a gun around a metal detector. That's not going to do it. Hmm. Maybe if you're right about that, Mom. I didn't say a word. You know, we were all here when Glenn called last night. You're going to do it, aren't you? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking yes. You were up all night writing in your journal. You might as well get paid for it. That's different. That's personal. Isn't that the best kind of writing? Personal? Go! Start for another hour. It's called excitement, Renee. Don't you remember excitement? Come on. Go, Mama! Go, Mama! Now, who are we supposed to be playing against? Oh, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you okay? Yeah, it's just. What's wrong? It's my heart. It won't stop beating. Which is a good thing, right? Renee? It's just racing. I'm doing this. I don't know, Fru. Have you seen a doctor? No, 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 it's just... It's crap. Taking you to the emergency room. <laughs> huh? I thought you had to work this morning. I had to see you first, just to touch you and make sure that you're okay. 
for the umpteenth time, I mean, my EKG is normal. I had a touch of hypertension, which is perfectly understandable considering it was only my second day and there I was sitting in my underwear in the emergency room. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Because I'm having a pretty bad time right now, and if something happened to you, I really don't think I could stand it. I'm not lying to you, I'm fine. All right. Mm. You have a little something to eat, I'm starving. And I have to tell you, I'm a little ticked off at you that you didn't see fit to call me until this morning. Well, you didn't call me after the shooting. Excuse me, I was in the police station being interrogated for four hours. What's your excuse? I was in the hospital being poked, prodded, and probed for three hours. Well, poked did the right thing. It's just humiliating. When was the last time you went out on a date and ended up in the emergency room? Well, you'll have another shot. Well, we're having lunch this afternoon. Here's hoping I don't have an aneurysm over dessert. Well, if you do, please call me. These are excellent noodles. Are you done with these? I gotta go. I decided to write that column. Good. Well, I just kept thinking about all those mothers with all those kids and all those schools. And I think everybody's got a lot of questions, but we don't have any answers. And I thought the least I could do was to give us all a voice. So where are you gonna start? At the very beginning. That's Ben at his fifth birthday. He was always, always laughing like that. He was always smiling. The last time I saw my five-year-old, he was laughing too. And then I went inside to get a bowl of potato salad, and when I came back out, he drowned in the pool. That was almost 30 years ago, and I think about him every day. I know how hard this is. Thank you for coming over here. Oh, it's okay. I am. Um, you know, I needed to get out of there. The uh, media is still on my front lawn. Uh, you know, sometimes I um, I don't feel like I have the right to grieve because of uh, because of what he did. And there are times, uh, moments that uh, I feel the other parents' pain more than my own. Well, he was still your son. You know, after his mom died, I, uh, I had trouble connecting with him. How old was he when his mother died? Eleven. I don't know what I did wrong. Did I miss any Little League games? Was I too soft on him? Was I too hard? I... And the guns, I had them in a box under my bed. Not a good that lock did, huh? I, ma I made a lot of mistakes. My son tells me that Ben got teased a lot. Yeah, he tried to talk to me about that. I think I told him to be a man. Toughen up. And I guess he did. Did he talk much about school? I have some. Not enough. <laughs> You were there, weren't you? Yes. You saw. Did, did you see him? What? What did he look like? Was he scared? Was he angry? I don't really think that he even knew what he was doing. It almost. It seemed like he was at peace. That? <laughs> Renee, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but Mrs. Sims called and she wants you to come over right away as something about showing you something. I called Animal Control about Mrs. Maple's dog, and they said that she was accidentally put to sleep last night. So will you please call her and tell her? I know what leadership entails, and I ask you to give I'm serious consideration to the issues them at stop. Hand. For Friday's election is not a popularity contest. You wouldn't win that either, Jungle Bunny. <laughs> It's an opportunity for you to select the person who will best represent you to the faculty and other students. 
I know without a doubt that I am the person for that job. much help, but you had such poise, such dignity. I was so proud of you. Thanks, Emmy. Oh, and Carter stood up and applauded. Did you see him do that? What's up, man? Nigger lovers don't play on this school's team, Sims. Get off me, man. Okay. Larry, don't hit him. He's just a friend of my stupid sisters. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Tell little Collier to stop it. Little Collier would love to stop it, but little Collier didn't start it. I'm warning you. Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots for his head. Looks like your girlfriend's here to save your sis white ass. Oh, way to go! Do something, Molly! Stop it, all of you! This is Fillmore High School, an institution of higher learning and thought pops. There shouldn't be any fighting here. Don't say I didn't warn you. I mean, don't! Take this smart ass. Kids today are more aggressive. Some of them. They're disrespectful. They challenge authority in a heartbeat. When I first started teaching, they weren't like that. Oh, kids today are growing up faster than they used to. Well, I grew up pretty fast. Didn't make me get a gun and shoot my schoolmates. I've seen a lot over the years, but I never thought I would see something like this. One child killing another. And we do research and studies and tests, and we come up with a lot of theory, but nothing to stop it. I know how to stop it. Metal detectives and random locker searches. This is a learning environment, not a police state. That would only cause more tension. Five students got shot in these halls. I say it's already tense. How do you feel about Davis coming back to school next week, Mrs. Sims? Worried. Anxious. But then I feel that way every time I put him on the bus or in a car with somebody and pray that some drunk isn't on his way home. Exactly. You can't protect him all the time, but we're supposed to do it eight hours every day. At least from other children with guns. Oh, it's not just the guns. Look at the guy in Japan killed all those kids with a knife. Mrs. Sims, we don't have the answer, but something, I don't know what, is going on with some of our young boys. They're furious, either at us or the world, and they've decided for themselves what the answer is. And it's one shining moment of rage played out on a stage for all the world to see. Why are they so mad? They are not doing anything adults aren't doing. Road rage, office shootings, family massacres. And we say they're not listening to us. She was devastated. This was her child. Is she going to sue? I don't know. I'm meeting with her this afternoon. Uh, Renee, do you think you should be eating butter? I mean, that much butter? Can we not talk about my health during lunch? Hey, thank you. Brother, brother, brother. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> What's happening, man? Where's my C-note on the Bama game, Your Honor? Right in my pocket where it's going to stay. Well, hand it over. <laughs> now, you realize this could get me kicked off the bench. Huh. Not my problem. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, Renee, this is Jeff Burke, a doctor friend of mine. Jeff, this is Renee Jackson. I bet on the Bruins, too. He hasn't coughed up a nickel. <laughs> Turk told me you had a minor arrhythmic episode the other night. Jeff's a cardiologist. Is he? Actually, my office is right across the street. Is it? Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. Do you? Why don't you let him check you out and run a few tests? What a great idea. As luck would have it, my schedule's clear for the next hour and a half. I'm very sorry, but I can't. I am meeting with a client right after lunch who's recently suffered a terrible loss. The dog is already dead, Renee. I mean, don't you think it's time you start looking out for yourself first? See the doctor. Are you getting off on this? If we ever go out again, are you going to want to dress up like a nurse or something? Turk. Oh, my. <laughs> Muriel? It's not fair. All Muffy did was scrap in Fanny's lawn. <laughs> I am so sorry. The people down at Animal Control told me that it was just a, a horrible, horrible accident. <laughs> Rear-ending somebody's bumper is an accident, and bumpers can be replaced. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know, her feet smelled like corn chips. I mean, do Bunny's feet smell like corn chips? Not exactly. 
I really want to hurt them so badly, Renee. I mean, I really want to hurt them. I loved Muffy too, Muriel. You know that. And I, I hate to be the one to have to say this, but, but Muffin's demise... Murder! Yes. It was truly an accident. And maybe it would be helpful if you, you talked to them, heard their side of the story. Have I been a good neighbor to you? Yes, Muriel, you have. And when Elston wanted to wring your mother's neck last Christmas, wasn't I the one to take him in until he cooled down? Yes, and I have always... And when you and Bill broke up, wasn't it my bottle of vodka that got you through that first night? I only had two drinks that night. I know you know people. And I want you to hook me up with someone who's going to teach Muffy's killer a lesson. Would you do that for me? Really is the neighborly thing to do. Hey, careful of the paint, Mary Elizabeth. You're going to mess up the wall and we'll never get our deposit back. Collier? Do you think we fight too much in front of the kids? We fight in front of the kids? Fix it for me, would you? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. And no, I don't think we fight too much in front of the kids. I think we fight fair. At least I do, and I think that's a good thing. So that's a good example. Well, it's a fine line. You always wonder if you're planting some kind of seeds of rage or something. Oh, this is not a violent household, Mary Elizabeth. I mean, even when you want to kill me, I know it's coming from love. to a doorknob and I told Teresa I'd chop her hair off in her sleep and she told on me. <laughs> but you shouldn't fight. Why? You're a girl. Call your got beat up because he's your friend, not because he's a boy. And I'm your friend too. So if all these bullies are going to beat up your white friends, well then shouldn't they take a crack at me too? I don't think I'm going to run Emmy. Huh? Please don't tell me you're going to let some silly old doll make you quit. At least my friends won't get hurt anymore. Oh, so you think dropping out of the election will make things change? I'm not going to win anyway. Renee, there's a difference between victory and simply winning. If you don't quit now, you'll know your own personal victory. But if you quit, the ignorant will win. I'm sorry you have to suffer so. Yeah. Me, honey? Yeah. You've been in here an awful long time. You okay? You know... The other day when I was looking through your things, you said something that had me a little worried. Do you know what it was? You were wondering if maybe any of this was your fault. Now, you know that none of this was your fault, don't you? Because Ben had big problems long before anybody teased him. You know that, don't you?
Good morning. Good morning. I'm Renee Jackson. You must be Marietta Pry from Animal Control. And uh, this is Muriel Maples. Muffin's mother. Well, why don't we all take a seat? Now, the reason we're here this morning is because we... It's because I want to vivisect you people. Either that or torch your homes while you sleep. Muriel? My attorney, however, suggests that I hear your side of the story first. So just skip the part where you say that you're sorry. <sighs> Tell me what happened. We're supposed to hold the animals for seven days. Muffin came in on the third, but the tan on her card, well, it looked like a one because the the zero got smeared or something. So, so we thought that she'd already been there two days longer than she was supposed to be. Muffin was killed by a typo? Sometimes it's hard for me to sleep at night because I refuse to put them down without holding them, looking into their eyes, speaking softly to them. The hardest part is, is hiding the heartbreak in my voice. You know, sounding happy and, and reassuring. I don't want them to know how I feel. Were you with Muffin? I did my best, but, but she knew what was happening. Your big, sad eyes. So I, I kissed her face and her and her neck and her and her little feet. They smelled like corn chips. Did you know that her feet smelled like corn chips? And sometimes when I when I can't bear it, I, I take them home with me. I, I, I wish that I had taken Muffin. She was the, the cutest little black and white bag of muffin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank God that's over. Any messages? Yeah, um, Dr. Burke called. Says your lab results are back. What's his number? He didn't leave it. Great. That must mean everything's okay. Uh, actually, he wants you to come in. He said he wants to talk to you about the results in person. Miss Jackson? Doctor? Beautiful day, isn't it? That depends on you. What have you found? Nothing too serious. Define serious. Your cholesterol level is somewhat elevated, that's all. I want to adjust your diet, check it again in three months. That's it? That's it. You couldn't have left me that message? I like to talk to all my new patients in person. <sighs> I knew I wasn't having a heart attack. But I don't want to alarm you. The highest incidence of coronary disease in African-American women is in Birmingham. Swell. I also want to check your blood pressure and breathing again. So, get comfortable from the waist up. I'll be back in a minute. You look comfortable. Well, I'm not. This is just as close to the fetal position as I could get. You want me to fix your sandwich or something? No, I'm not hungry. You're kidding. I'm just not feeling so great, that's all. Well, you'll feel better once you hand that thing in to Glenn. You think? I know. Why do people kill each other, Collier? Man, you are really trying to figure out the meaning of life. Yeah. I am. So tell me, why do people kill each other? I don't know, Mary Elizabeth. Jealousy, greed, survival. Jealousy, I get. Greed, all right. Survival, okay. Poverty, hopelessness, I get it, I get it. I just, I don't see how killing another person is the answer for any of that. That's because you're an emotionally stable person. Well, that's a first. Well, I don't know, Mary Elizabeth. Violence is the way of the world. It's a horrible thing, but it's true. Not on the table. It's 
it's rented. It's temporary. If Sally Nathan had known the other day when she woke up that it was going to be her last, what would she have felt? What would she have done differently? I, mean, I, I, I feel like I've hardly even started my life, and, and I'm a hell of a lot older than Sally Nathan was. Well, I feel like I've only been on the planet like a day. A day is all we have, Shook. I know that. And I've always wished that I could live in the now. I've just never known when to do it or how. I saw an old woman today. She must have been 80, and I thought, boy, she could die tonight. Then I thought, boy, I could die tonight. For Pete's sake, I was almost killed the other day. You are not going to die tonight. But what if I did? I tell you, sometimes I look in the mirror, and I, I can hardly believe what's looking back at me. I'm old and and I haven't done what I wanted to do. No, oh, you still got a lot of fire in your furnace. You know that. You want a grilled cheese or something? Yeah, I'd like that. Sometimes there's nothing else to do but eat. It makes you feel alive. It's gonna be all right. It's all gonna be all right. You're voting for Renee, right? Yes, Mary Elizabeth, I'm voting for Renee. Hey! That's not legal! It's okay, Emmy. Please, don't start another fight. I lost. Look on the bright side. You got nine whole votes. Wow. Me, the seven other black students, and you. Hi, Collier. Hey, Renee, is Mary Elizabeth here? What do you want? You know, I've been thinking a lot about what you said, Mary Elizabeth, and I'm not a wimp. You didn't vote for Renee because she's black. How can you not stand up for something you believe in? Unless you didn't believe in it in the first place. I believe in myself, too, Mary Elizabeth. That's a cop-out, call your Sims. That is a big, fat cop-out. Does this mean we're not going for ice cream? Did you remember to pick up some ice cream for me? Chocolate fudge and peach. I love you. Is that your way of asking me to get you some? Uh-huh. What's in it for me? Good night's sleep. <clears throat> Chocolate fudge and peach. Both. Just when we thought our city had known tragedy like no other, it came knocking on our door one more time. Knocking on our door. How many cliches can you use, Mary Elizabeth? How's it coming? Oh, can't tell yet, but it's coming. Yes, I have learned one thing from all this, and that is just how lucky we are. How so? Kelly and Davis. Knocking on our door, that's kind of a cliche, isn't it? And luck had nothing to do with Kelly and Davis, Mary Elizabeth. We were on them like a cheap suit. Davis came and changed his clothes without us knowing it. Yeah, but even so, Kelly got pregnant. We didn't think that'd ever happen. But our kids don't hurt people. Unfortunately, Kelly loved a Johnny a little bit too much, a little too soon, but she wouldn't hurt a fly. That's a cliche. Wouldn't hurt a fly. I still believe that if you keep your eyes open and really listen and really watch your kids, you'll see signs if they're getting screwy. You know, most of the time when I work, I get all kind of jumpy and anxious. And cranky. But this time, I just find myself sitting here just kind of overwhelmed with gratitude, you know? I just feel so grateful for everything we've been through. 
Isn't that weird? Muriel? Renee, honey, I took your advice. You did? Remember when you said that I should start a rescue where, where animals don't get put down? I don't think those were my exact words. Well, when Marietta and Sam and I were having lunch, we came up with a brilliant idea. I am starting a rescue, and I get to run it. We're calling it Muffin Maple's Rescue, so Muffy didn't die in vain. Catchy. And what are you doing here? Well, I've always wanted children. I'm taking this little guy. I want to call him Renee. So what's it going to be, Kulisha? It's Lakeisha. And I just can't. My landlord doesn't allow pets. Move. I'll pay your rent for six months. Really? How about you, Renee? Doesn't Buddy need a friend? Oh, no, thank you. I am strictly a one-dog woman. I understand. Come on, Sam, let's go. He's taking me to every floor. I'm sure we'll find homes for these little guys before you can say, Fanny Carter, watch your butt. Come on, Morgan. Come on, Morgan. Let's go. We're going to find you a daddy. Here we go. Here we go, boy. Here we go. Into the elevator. Come on, kiss. I'm coming. He published it all. Word for word. Look in the mirror. That's interesting. Just when we thought our city had known tragedy like no other, it called upon us again last week. Oh, that's good. Down, down, down. Read down to the last paragraph. Um, um, we search our souls for answers when all we really need to do is look in the mirror. Adults kill each other in this country every day. Why are we surprised when our children do it? We are a violent society founded on war. We've taught our children well. This is wonderful, Emmy. Thank you. Honey, what's wrong? Nothing. It's great. It's great. Just, you know, one kid's dead and three are hanging on for dear life and yippee for me, I'm published. Listen to me, none of that is your fault. Hello? I hear Kalia. Uh-huh. Hold on, she's right here. It's for you. Honey. Hey, hey, slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Glenn called. And he's offered me a weekly column? <gasps> oh, my God, that's great. Oh, what? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Thanks. I will. Bye. Congratulations, Emmy! Wow! Yeah. Oh, jeez, can I, can I be excited for you at least? Think about it. This is your chance to make a mark on the world. Global warming, the Middle East. Hair products, yeast infections. This is a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing.